Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Solve the following equation. A cubed minus A squared is equal to 18. Variations of this problem have been shared online with the title that it's a math Olympiad problem and there's a trick you should know to solve questions like this. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The first thing we'll do is we'll subtract 18 from both sides, so we have a cubed minus a squared minus 18 is equal to zero. This is the standard form of the polynomial, and we now want to solve for the roots or zeros of the polynomial. So I've seen many videos about questions like this, and people at this point just start guessing convenient values like zero, one, and so on until you get lucky. But there is a trick you should know. If you have a polynomial with integer coefficients, you should use the rational root theorem. So what this states is you want to look for particular candidates which will be rational roots of this polynomial. So here's how it works. You take a look at the constant coefficient, which is 18, and then you take a look at the coefficient of the highest power so in this case, we want to take a look at the coefficient of a cubed. In this case, the coefficient is 1. So the candidates for roots of this polynomial will be plus or minus factors of the constant term 18 divided by factors of the leading coefficient 1. So what are factors of 18? 18 factors into 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. So by the rational root theorem, we look for plus or minus factors of 18, which will be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18, divided by factors of 1. 1 only has one factor, which is 1. So this gives us candidate roots that we can check. Plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. We don't need to check for 0. We don't need to check for 4. If there's a rational root, it'll be one of these candidates. So we'll just start checking. Let's try a is equal to one. We substitute in and we see this is not a zero of the equation. We can try a is equal to two, and once again, we get unlucky. But what about a is equal to three? We get lucky. Three cubed minus three squared minus 18 is equal to zero. So we found a root of this equation. Now, we can simplify matters tremendously. Since a is equal to 3 is a root of the equation, a minus 3 will be a factor of the polynomial. So we will use polynomial long division. We take a cubed minus a squared minus 18, and we divide it by a minus 3. Now, when you do polynomial long division, you want to have all of the placeholders set. We don't have any coefficient for the linear factor, so let's just insert that. We want 0 times a. So now we're all set. So first, we want to eliminate the a cubed term, so we need to multiply a by a squared. So we take a squared multiplied by a minus 3, and this is equal to a cubed minus 3a squared. We will subtract this from the original polynomial, and we have to be careful about the opposite of negative 3a squared will be plus 3a squared, so we end up with 2a squared. Now we drop down the 0 multiplied by a. Now to eliminate 2a squared, we need to multiply by 2a. So we add 2a here, then we take 2a multiplied by a minus 3. This works out to be 2a squared minus 6a. We want to subtract this entire term this works out to be 6a. We then bring down negative 18. So to eliminate 6a, we have to add 6. So we have 6 multiplied by a minus 3. That works out to be 6a minus 18. And finally, we subtract this, and this works out to be 0, so there's no remainder. So the original polynomial divided by a minus 3 is equal to a squared plus 2a plus 6. 
So in other words, a minus 3 multiplied by a squared plus 2a plus 6 is equal to the original polynomial. Now we want this to be equal to 0. So that means either a minus 3 is equal to 0 or the quadratic is equal to 0. If the first factor is equal to 0, that means a is equal to 3. We already knew that. So now we solve this quadratic equation to be equal to 0. We will use Brahmagupta's quadratic formula and we just substitute in. So a is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 6. This is all over 2. So we simplify under the radical. This will be negative 20. Now negative 20 is equal to 4 multiplied by negative 5. So the square root of 4 is equal to 2. We pull that out. Now we divide through by 2 so that a is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i root 5. And that's the solution to the original question. a is equal to 3 or a is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i root 5. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.